Hello world, welcome to my channel. I am Sahil and I have developed a full stack web application using Maven stack and today in this video I will show you how to deploy this project on Heroku.com. Okay, but before deployment first we have to change the local database to cloud database and for that I will use MongoDB Atlas from MongoDB.com. Okay, so let's start. So first open MongoDB.com. Okay, and here if you are not registered then just click here try free and register yourself in this mongodb.com website and then you will be able to use mongodb atlas okay so i have already registered so i will go to sign in okay and here i will write my email id and here password and then login okay after login i will be redirected to the dashboard page okay <clears throat> now here i have already created uh, some projects but i will show you how to create new project from the scratch okay so just click here and click on new project okay just wait okay so here we have to write the project name so i will write maven underscore app okay and click on next then click on create project here you can see the project has been created okay now inside this project first we will build a cluster okay so just click here okay and from here i will select this free uh, plan okay so just click here create a cluster i will leave all this default okay and here you can change the name of this cluster okay so here we can write maven and click on create cluster okay so you can see our cluster is being created so it will take one to three minutes okay till then we will uh, do another things here okay so just click on database access okay and here we have to create a database user for accessing the database okay so here just click on add new database user okay and here just select password now here in username i will write root okay and in password also i will use the root okay uh, for deployment purpose i am using both username and password root root okay but in your case just use a strong password okay now next uh, just leave all default and click on add user okay once user has been created just click on net network access tab and here just click on add ip address okay and here i will just click on this allow access from anywhere and click on confirm okay so here you can see the status is just still pending because our cluster is not created yet okay click on cluster and our cluster is still creating so just wait okay so here you can see our cluster has been created okay now next i will just click on this connect okay and then i will click on this connect your application and here i will select node.js and here in version i will select this 2.2.12 okay and now next we will just copy this uri okay and now open our project and just in server i will go to this dot env file okay and this is the local mongodb database uri so i will just replace with the cloud based database uri okay and here you can see this is the password field so here we have to write the password okay so our password is root so just write root and then save this file okay and close this file now we have to restart the server okay so just 
press control c and then again restart the server okay and wait okay so here you can see server running at this address and also connected to the cloud based database okay now next let's open our application and refresh now here database has been changed so the record is not displaying okay so let's try to add a new record and here i'll write spider-man marvel and this content select an image and i'll select this one and click on add post okay so you can see post created successfully and the post is added and displaying now if you go to the mongodb.com just close this and then click on collection okay now here you can see inserted post is displaying here okay it means our database is set up correctly now next what i will do is i will go to the project okay and here i will build the client project for production okay so for that i will use a command in the terminal okay so just here stop the server and use npm run build okay hit enter now you can see the client project is building for the production okay so when the building will finish then we will get a dist directory containing a index.html file and all the static file like css and javascript okay and then we will move the dist directory into the server root directory okay until this is building let's open app.js file and here i will add something for the production okay so here just below this root prefix i'll use a condition if process dot env dot node sorry node underscore env okay is equal equal to production okay now in this case what i will do is i will use this directory as static directory okay so here i will use app dot use and then i will use express dot static and then i will use dir name and then i will concatenate with directory dist okay and i will also use a route here so i will use app dot git and here i will use asterisk and here i will use request and response and then here i will use res dot send file okay and here i will use dir name then i will concatenate with dist slash index dot html okay save this now you can see the production is completed now you can see here we are getting a folder dist okay that contains index.html file and css and javascript file okay so we will just move this dist directory from here and paste inside the root of the server directory okay so just cut it from here and paste on server directory okay now you can see dist directory is displaying here now next what i will do is i will create a file inside server directory a new file git ignore okay git ignore and here i will add node underscore modules folder okay module save this file and close this file okay so when i will host this uh, server directory into the heroku.com then i will not send this node underscore modules directory okay that's why here i have used git ignore and written here node underscore modules okay now next what i will do is here uh, just stop the server and use git init okay and then just write git add dot to add all the files okay and then git commit with some message 
so here i'll write first commit and hit enter okay now next i will use heroku cli to deploy this project okay so for this you need to install heroku cli in your system so for this just search heroku cli download okay and open the first link and here just click on download and install okay now here you will get the Roku CLI okay so if you are using Mac then just use this command and if you are using window then download the Roku CLI application and install in your system okay if you are using Ubuntu then just use this command okay so I have already installed Roku CLI in my system so I will not going to install it again okay so now just close this and come to the project and here what I will do is I will just write Roku Roku login okay and hit enter now it will just show a message that press any key to open the browser okay so I will press enter now it will open the browser and ask for login okay so just wait okay so here just click on login okay so you can see you can close this page and return to the cli okay so let's come here and next i will just write roku roku create to create a new project okay roku create hit enter now it will create a random project okay so just wait so here you can see roku created a random web link for our application okay so if we just open it then uh, we can see some roku stuffs okay here now just go to roku.com and login now here just refresh the page so this is the application okay that i have just created using roku cli okay so just open this and go to deploy tab and from here just click on roku git okay and then from here just copy this and here just paste it and hit enter okay now next what i will do is just come here again and call this command and paste here hit enter now it will start pushing all the file to the heroku okay and also it will build the project for the production okay so just wait until it installs all the dependencies okay okay so here you can see our project deployment has been successfully finished okay now if we just come here and go to this link and refresh then here we can see our app is now live okay you can see our app is now live so next let's try to add a new post here okay so here what i will do is i will just write here thor marvel and thor content just copy the same thing paste here okay now select an image okay and click on add post okay and here you can see post created successfully okay and if we just open this post then you can see the details of the post we can also edit this post okay like here we can just change the name 
to uh, like John okay and click on date post then we can see the post is also updating successfully okay and we can also delete in this post so you can see post deleted successfully okay so thanks for watching this series i hope you liked this series if you like then please share and like this video and also subscribe my channel see you soon in the next video tutorial